The Balochi people are an ethnic group primarily inhabiting the region known as Balochistan, which spans parts of southwestern Pakistan, southeastern Iran, and southern Afghanistan. The majority of Baloch live in Pakistan's Balochistan province, where they form a significant cultural and political presence. The Balochi people speak the Balochi language, which belongs to the northwestern branch of the Iranian languages, a subgroup of the larger Indo-Iranian family. Balochi is linguistically related to Kurdish, as both are part of the western Iranian languages. This makes the Kurds distant linguistic cousins of the Baloch. One of the most prominent Balochi festivals, held annually in Sibi, Pakistan is Sibi Mela. It includes tribal dances, music, poetry recitals, horse and cattle shows, and handicraft exhibitions. The Baloch also traditionally celebrate the Islamic Eids, Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Adha. For this video I have prepared the raw genomes of nine ethnic Balochis from the HGDP dataset. These samples are present on Reichlab's Adder Plus HO dataset, but I chose to gather these samples from European Nucleotide Archive instead, since they are in higher quality there. I ran these samples through QBDM to determine their ethnic breakdown and ancestry. According to this model, roughly a third of their ancestry comes back to the Indus Valley civilization. They also have sizable Elamite ancestry, and of course, the dominant ancestral component in Balochis is the ironic component from the Yaz culture in Turkmenistan. This Yaz component is around half Sintashta half BMAC. Going further back in time, the Balochis are around 60% Zagrosian, with the remainder of their ancestry being European and South Indian. I computed the FST between these nine samples and some ethnicities in the Reich dataset using Admixtols 2. It turns out the closest ethnicity is Brahui, followed by Iranians, Tajiks, and Pashtun. Surprisingly, even Russians Tatars ended up closer to these Balochis than Punjabis. Another surprise is that the Finns ended up closer to them than the Saudis. The ethnicities furthest from them were Pygmies, Australian Aboriginals, South African hunter-gatherers, and Native Americans. These nine samples are all quite closely related to one another. Their total shared DNA ranges from 36 to 72 centimorgans, with the average relation being 55 centimorgans, which is about as much as the relationship between fourth cousins from a non-inbred population. There is no reason to believe any of these samples are immediate family members. This is a result of a very extreme bottleneck that has affected the Balochi ethnicity, comparable to the Ashkenazi or Finnish bottleneck which has resulted in strangers sharing a large amount of DNA with each other. I ran these samples through my trait predictor tool for DNA analysis. Here is the average predicted phenotype. The most common Y lineage among them was R1AZ645, a lineage associated with the spread of corded wear culture. Another lineage that was common is the L lineage. The most common predicted phenotype was Grassel indeed, but stranded, Mediterranean, Indo-Nordid, and Indo-Iranid phenotypes were present too. The most common predicted eye color was dark brown, but brown and even green eyes were present as well. The most common predicted hair color was black, but one sample also scored light brown hair. Skin colors ranged from white to light brown. The most common hair texture was straight, but there were even people with kinky hair. It seems the Balochis are very diverse when it comes to hair texture. Most samples scored a Greek nose shape, and one sample scored overwhelmingly Greek for the nose shape prediction. Every sample had high odds of male pattern baldness. When it comes to dopamine reuptake rate, the most common predicted phenotype was the worrier phenotype, characterized by slow dopamine reuptake and high dopamine levels. The Balochis had an average predisposition to autism, most of these people were likely lactase persistent. Surprisingly, most samples were predicted to have lower empathy levels. They had slightly below average odds of atrial fibrillation, low odds of deep vein thrombosis, average odds for a wide variety of cardiovascular issues, and low odds of ischemic stroke. Most samples had low odds of hemoglobin E disease, but two samples scored very high for hemoglobin E disease. Most samples had high odds of myopia, but one sample scored quite low for it. These samples had slightly lowered odds of epilepsy. 
The Baloch had high levels of bad LDL cholesterol, which is characteristic of West Eurasians, low levels of good HDL cholesterol, which is also typical, and high odds of type 2 diabetes. When it comes to autoimmune diseases, the Baloch had average odds of rheumatoid arthritis, average odds of type 1 diabetes, and low odds of multiple sclerosis. When it comes to mental health conditions, the Baloch had high odds of ADHD, average odds of unipolar depression, high odds of bipolar disorder type 2, and low odds of bipolar disorder type 1. The Baloch scored low for odds of Alzheimer's. Five samples carried rare risk variants for various genetic conditions. The most common condition to carry risk variants for was Parkinson's. One sample was likely afflicted with pseudoaryl sulfatase A deficiency. The Baloch had an average predisposition to polycythemia vera based on JA K2 genotypes, high predisposition to testicular cancer based on KITLG genotypes, low levels of vitamin D, and shorter telomere lengths. The Baloch had average odds of allergies. Two samples carried risk variants for hemochromatosis, also known as the Celtic curse. Both the samples that carried risk variants for hemochromatosis carried the H63D variants. Most samples had an average predisposition to obesity, and the most common predicted blood type was definitely O. You can purchase their genomes in 23andMe format from the links in the description. Purchase links for my tools and services are also in the description.